Hello and welcome once again to this training of assembly of climate clock. What we are going to see in this module number 4 is the very important component of the climate clock that is LED display and the display is called P10 LED display. This is what you see here, I am going to give more details. Well, please like the video, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for continuous updates. There are many parameters about the displays that are available. The P10 display that you are seeing right now is the most commonly used LED display in the market. And what are the parameters that for example there are many LEDs, you see the, the matrix of LEDs. This LED can be a single color or a multiple color. The one we are going to use in our climate clock assembly is a multiple color, it is called RGB, red, green and blue display. So all kind of color combination are available here. P10, what does it mean? We will we'll see in the next slide. So this is a very commonly used uh, display that we see. Now this LED is a P10, what does it mean? 10 means there is a 10 mm pixel difference, okay. So between one LED to other LED there is a 10 mm difference or the distance. And in this uh, what you see on your screen is a red color, so it only gives you the red as a light output and 10 means there is a distance between 10 millimeter between pixel to pixel and in the width wise there are 32 LEDs, you can count actually in details, you can go 32 and in the height wise there are 16 LEDs. So when you multiply 16 by 32 you will get 512 LEDs. So in this display that is here there are 512 LEDs are there. Well. In our climate clock, it is much bigger as I showed you earlier, we are going to use three such pieces together and it is very easy to connect them together. So this is the front side of it, what we are going to use in our climate clock is what is this in my hands and what is there on your screen. This is what we are going to use, 16 by 32 P10 RGB display, okay. Let me show you the back side of it, it is very, very important to look at the back side of this display, it looks something like this. Well, it looks a little complicated, but uh, do not get bothered, it is very, very simple. There are some small uh, ICs which are here, you do not have to really worry about what those ICs are. I also do not know what that ICs are, but we do not need in order to make this climate clock. There are two uh, important thing at the back side, you see here this pin here, there are 16 pins by the way, 8 by 8, this is called FRC data pin, FRC, okay. And there is another pin on the left hand side of this, also there are 16 pin. So data has to, it is a display right, it is a continuous display can be there, so data has to come from one side and go to the other side and which direction it is going to go is shown by this arrow here and this arrow here, you see here. So the data will be fed in here, then it will go and, and actually it can, it will come out here and then go to the next P10 display. As I said, there are three P10 displays that we are going to use. There is an up arrow also here, the up arrow shows that when we are going to use it, it is going to be upside, it has to be put like this. So this is how and then there is one more important point, you see this four point here, it is the relimate pin arrangement or the pin cable, you can see this is for supplying power to this LED panel. So there are data and there is a power cable. So this LED display require two important thing, a power and data and both this arrangement are there on the back side it is very easy to see on this sketch of LED P10 display. The front side is very clear, it is all LEDs and the back side there are data points that cables coming in coming out and there is a power point and there is a flow of data. So there is three things that are there, the data pin, the power supply pin and arrows that demonstrate which direction the data is going to flow, okay. These three things you should remember about this display in my hand. So at the end P10 LED display is uh, the distance between pixel to pixel is 10, it can be P3. So if you want more clear picture then you need P3 or other arrangement where the distance between LED to LED will be only 3 millimeter. It is a RGB that we are going to use, it is one of the most commonly used LED display in the displays that we see around. So when you are going to learn how to make climate clock, it is not only climate clock, you can use the same knowledge and make many other types of displays, you can in your school name, your college name, your function name, many things. So though we are learning how to make climate clock, but you are actually with this knowledge you can do many, many kinds of displays, smaller display, big display and very, very big display, alright. So that's it in this module. In the next module, 
we'll go to the next very important component that is the controller it is the led controller wf1 controller very commonly available in the known controller for displaying information on led panels okay so stay tuned thank you very much in the next uh, we are going to look at the controller itself thank you very much